Hello viewers and welcome back to the track for our Diecast Monster Truck Tournament. Today we have a very special race because we will be featuring 16 Monster Jam Star Creations Monster Trucks. These are arguably some of the coolest looking monster trucks around and they are here at the track today ready to do battle and see which one is faster on our replica Diecast track. And it just so happens out of the 16 trucks ready to race here today, eight of the truck designs are either a truck or SUV style body and the other half of the field competing here today is eight animal or creature style bodies. Check out these designs. These are absolutely incredible. There sure are some fan favorites here in this lineup today. Which truck do you think is your favorite and which truck do you think will take home the championship? Before we get the races started, let's take an up close look at each one of these trucks. And up first for us here today in the pit party, we have the red Bakugan Dragonoid. This is such an awesome looking truck. Love those big wings. Have you ever seen this truck race in person? It is awesome. Let's take a look and see what it has in real life. And up next, we have the incredible Team Tom Fullery Motorsports Kraken. Unfortunately, we did not get the new blue and pink Kraken before this video, but we will have that one in our video soon. Let's take a look at some Kraken freestyle. <laughs> And up next, we have the second Diesel Brothers truck, the Bro Camino. These trucks were so cool looking. These trucks are both from the home state of our time for adventures right here in Utah. Awesome looking trucks. Which one do you like better? Let's take a look at some Bro Camino action. And up next, we have Dragon. I personally believe that the die-cast version of this truck does not do this truck justice. Once you see this truck in real life, it is absolutely incredible tearing up the tracks. Let's take a look and see what it can do now. When the Lucas Oil Stabilizer was announced, this instantly became a fan favorite on tour. This is an incredible looking semi-monster truck. What do you think? Do you like this truck running on tour? We sure do. Let's take a look at a clip now. And up next for the tournament today, we have the awesome looking wolf's head. There is some great detail on this truck with all the fur, ears, eyes, and teeth. Gotta love this one. Let's take a look at some donuts, but as you're watching, try not to get dizzy. And up next for today's race, we have one of the most sought after diecast monster trucks around. This is the Series 14 Black Pearl. And if you've ever seen this truck in real life, you'll know why this is such a collector's item. Let's take a look at some Black Pearl Freestyle. And up next, we have another team local to Utah. We have Team Throttle Monster, and this is Velociraptor. This truck looks awesome just standing still like it's ready to go. So let's take a look at some arena freestyle action. And 
And up next for today's race, we have Recreation. When this truck was revealed, I was sure hoping Spin Master could nail the design on this one, because this truck is incredible and Spin Master absolutely nailed it. Let's take a look at some Recreation action. And everyone knows Megalodon, who's not a fan of that shark? And this truck is known for one of the coolest backflips ever seen in Monster Jam at the 2023 Nashville World Finals. And our time for adventures was there in person to witness it. Let's check it out. We have one of my personal favorites in this custom made red, white, and blue Jester monster truck. To the best of my knowledge, this has not run in a show yet, but it was there for the Thunder Roarus long jump at the World Finals. And we don't have a video clip of this truck, but we know Jester loves to tear up the tracks. So let's check out some blue Jester action. <laughs> And up next, we have a fantasy truck that's not actually on tour, but a lot of people may recognize this because who doesn't know Mr. Beast? Yes, this is a fantasy truck and is currently only a rendering. Could we one day see the Mr. Beast truck run in Monster Jam? When this rendering came out, we just had to make this truck for our races and I know some of you have seen it. Let's take a look. Up next, we have Team Neon Earthshaker. I absolutely love the color combination on this truck. And this is a custom painted replica of that truck that ran in the 2023 Superstar Challenge. If you'd like to see more builds like this from this custom builder, check out Diggers Diecast on Instagram after this video. But for now, let's check out some freestyle action from Earthshaker at the Superstar Challenge. And up next, we have the all-new Thunder Roarus. This truck was absolutely incredible right out of the gates. Talk about an instant fan hit. And this truck now holds the world record for the longest monster truck. Let's check out that video from the Nashville World Finals. And up next, we have the Monster Jam 30th Anniversary Stunt Truck. This is an incredible looking truck. And though this truck has never raced, this truck has been in some play sets and we've seen some wild freestyle action from it at some shows. Let's check out the high jump now. All right, viewers, we have now met all 16 of the Star Creations Diecast Monster Jam Monster Trucks that are competing here in our Diecast Monster Truck Tournament today. With these great looking trucks, it sure is hard to pick out a favorite, but which truck do you think will take the victory here today and end up on the gold podium? We will find out soon, but first let's take a look at today's racing bracket and how the races will lay out. And up first to the gates for today's racing tournament, we will have Dragon taking on Brodozer, followed by Wolf's Head racing Black Pearl. Then we have Megalodon going head to head with Bro Camino. Kraken will be taking on Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Dragonoid will line up against Earthshaker. The Mr. Beast will take on Jester. Velociraptor will be meeting up with Monster Jam 30th Anniversary. And then Thunder Roarus will be racing Recreation. There are some great looking matchups here in this Star Creations tournament. So let's head up to the starting gates now and get the races started. And here we go. We have Dragon in the red lane, taking on Brodozer in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Brodozer a little ahead, coming out of the gate down there, happened to that first jump. Big air from both trucks. Dragon trying to catch up. Brodozer off over into the wall. Dragon so close at the line. Wow. 
First race right out of the gate and it's a close one. We definitely have to take another look from the track cam to see if it was Brodozer winning this one or Dragon. Let's take a look now. Watch both these trucks really closely. Both want this first win. Want to be the first truck moving into the next round. Coming down into the jump. Brodozer has problems on the landing. Goes wide. Dragon catching up and at the line it is. What? Look how close that is at the line. It's a tie. The very first race out of the gate and we have a tie. Wow. I would not have expected that one. We've got to get these two trucks lined back up and try for race number two to get a winner. All right, here we go. Round number two. We have Dragon in the red lane once again and Brodozer in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go. And on the second round, it's Brodozer coming down the ramp quicker. About a truck length ahead of Dragon off the jump. Oh, but Brodozer has problems. Goes way off to the side. Crashes. Dragon goes wide but corrects and makes it across the line to take the win. What a wild race by both of these trucks. Who would have expected a photo finish on the first one and a crash on the second? Let's take another look. Coming down the ramp again, both these trucks want this win. They want to be the first, but Brodozer has problems over in the green lane. Dragon with a big hard landing corrects and makes it across the line. Wow. Well, if that's any indication how the Star Creations race is going to go, we're going to have a great tournament today. And in the first round, it's Dragon taking the win, moving on into the second round, being the first truck there. What a race by that truck. Now let's head back up to the starting gates for the next pair because they're lined up and ready to go. And up next we have the Wolf's Head racing out of the red lane, taking on the Black Pearl in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, wheel to wheel, coming down the ramp into that first jump. It's a close race, oh, but Black Pearl has problems, has a big flip off that first jump. Wolf's Head up over the back obstacle, can't hold the landing there and flips across the line to take the win. Wow, what a wild race and big crashes from both these trucks. Did you see Black Pearl flip? Let's take another look from the track cam. Green flag and it's a close race coming down the ramp. We'll watch that green lane. Something must break in that Black Pearl truck. If that truck goes completely right and has a huge crash. Full set up over the back obstacle flipping for the win. Wow. It's really too bad that that Black Pearl had problems coming off that first jump. We won't be seeing that truck later. And in this one, it's Wolfhead taking the win, moving into the next round. Great run by that truck. We'll see it compete later on. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next one. And up next to the gate, we have Megalodon racing out of the red lane, taking on Bro Camino in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Close race coming down the ramp into that first jump. It's big air from both trucks. They're still wheel to wheel as they get to the jump on the back obstacle. Megalodon has problems. Wow. Bro Camino flips for the win, but makes it there before Megalodon does because Megalodon had a huge crash. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out. As the green flag flies, we have another close race coming out of the gate down the ramp. Into that first jump, we have a huge truck smooth landing, but then Megalodon starts to lose control and flips, allowing Bro Camino the win. What a race. Another awesome side-by-side -side race here, and unfortunately, another awesome truck eliminated. But in this one, it's Bro Camino taking the win, moving into that second round. So we'll see more action from that truck soon. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And for this matchup, we have Kraken racing out of the red lane, taking on Lucas Oil Stabilizer in the green lane. Here we go. Green flies and we're racing. Wolf truck so fast coming out of the gate down the ramp, but Kraken has problems off the first jump, heads to the center, can't hold the landing. Wow, big crash. Stabilizer flips across the line, oh, almost leaves the track. Whoa, we're lucky there isn't any fans over there watching from that side of the track today. Kraken with the big crash in the center. Let's take another look at this wild race. This replay is action-packed, so keep an eye on it. Watch Kraken in the red lane, coming down into that jump. Breaks something, heads to the center of the track, has a big crash. Now Stabilizer smooth up over the back, but flips across the line and almost leaves the track. Wow. Kraken had a wild ride there off of that center obstacle. Hope that truck's okay. We'll get it checked out. But in this one, it is Lucas Oil Stabilizer taking the win as it almost leaves the track. But now let's head back up to the starting gates and see what the next pair can do on this run. And for this matchup, we have the red Bakugan Dragonoid racing out of the red lane, taking on the neon Earthshaker in the green lane. Let's go racing. Out of the gate, it's Earthshaker putting the power down, shaking the earth with a big jump over there. Bakugan has problems on the landing, slams into the wall as Earthshaker goes up over the obstacle. But it is a close race. We're definitely going to have to take a look from the track cam and see which one won because Bakugan went out of the screen. Another close race here in the Star Creations matchup. Let's take a look from the track cam. As the green flies, both these trucks so fast, Earthshaker starts to pull away just a little bit. Bakugan has problems off the jump, lands hard, hits the wall but corrects, but it is Earthshaker making it to the line with the nose wheelie for the win. 
Another exciting matchup here in that round. Bakugan had some problems but almost came back for the win. But it is Earthshaker crossing the line first, moving on into the second round of racing. What a wild run. Now let's head back up to the starting gates for the next pair. And up next we have a great matchup with Mr. Beast in the red lane taking on the red, white, and blue Jester in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag gate drops and they're off. It's a close race out of the gate with Jester putting the power down, starting to pull away, coming down the ramp. Big air from both trucks, smooth landing. Mr. Beast catching up over the back obstacle and out the line. It is Mr. Beast taking the win by a truck length. Wow. What a come from behind victory from that truck. That was such a close race. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out again. As the gate drops, coming down the ramp, Jester starts to pull away just a little bit, coming down into that first jump. It's a big air from both trucks, with Mr. B starting to catch up, powers up over the back obstacle and passes for the win. What a race. That was such an awesome race by both of these beautiful Star Creations trucks. And unfortunately, there can only be one winner. And in that one, it's Mr. Beast taking the win, moving into the second round. Sorry, Jester. I really wish you could move on, but not this time. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next race. And for this pair, we have Velociraptor racing out of the red lane, facing the 30th anniversary Monster Jam in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Close race coming down the ramp. It's wheel to wheel coming into that first jump. Big jump from both trucks. It's even coming up over the back obstacle. Velociraptor starts to pull ahead and flips for the win. Wow, what a close race as both trucks flip over the last jump to the line. Let's take another look from the track cam. As the gate drops, both these trucks really putting the power down. They both want this win. It's a close race up over the first jump and landing. They're smooth over the back obstacle. Start to flip and it is Velociraptor to the line first to move on. And just like the high jump in real life, that 30th anniversary truck ends up upside down. Wow. But it is Velociraptor taking the win, moving into the next round of racing. So we'll see more of that truck's action later. Now let's head back up to the starting gate because the next pair is lined up and waiting for us. And for this matchup, we have Thunder Roris racing out of the red lane taking on the Recreation in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag gate drops and they're off. Whoa, look at that power from Recreation coming out of the gate down the ramp. Starts to pull away from Thunder Morris. Thunder Morris has a huge crash. But Recreation is so smooth up over the buses to take the win. Did you see how fast that truck was coming down the ramp? That was wild. Looks like it was in a hurry to go camping. <laughs> Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out. Here we go as the green flies. First off, watch that red lane. Thunder Roar is coming down the ramp as pops off that first jump has a huge crash. But Recreation is so fast on that first jump over the back obstacle for the win. Wow. Well, I know a lot of fans really like that Thunder Roar's truck. It's too bad it's eliminated here early. But we do have the awesome Recreation taking that win, moving into the second round. Great run by that truck. That's got to be the fastest one so far. Let's head on over to the pits and check out the trucks moving on into the second round. These 16 trucks have put on an incredible show here so far in this tournament. And eight trucks are moving into the second round. Let's meet them now. Starting with Dragon and Bro Camino. Then up next, we will have Wolf's Head taking on Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Followed by Earthshaker and Velociraptor. And Mr. Beast will face Recreation. Which of these eight remaining trucks is your favorite? Which truck do you think will move on into the semi-final round? Let's head up to the gates now, get the races started and find out. Okay, here we go. First up, we have Dragon racing out of the red lane, taking on Bro Camino in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag and they're off. Wheel to wheel coming down the ramp out of the gate. Full truck side by side. Dragon starting to pull away at the jump. Bro Camino has problems as a big crash off that first jump. Dragon with a huge jump over the back obstacle and crashes after the line. What a wild race. Poor Bro Camino back at the starting gate. Couldn't even make it over the first jump with that wild crash. Let's take another look. As the gate drops, these trucks are wheel to wheel coming down the ramp. It's a close one. Put the power down. Bro Camino off into that first jump and smashes hard as Dragon takes the win. Well, with Bro Camino crashing out, unfortunately, that means both of the Diesel Brothers trucks are eliminated. And Dragon will be the first truck moving into the semi-final round. What a fast run by that truck. That was awesome. Now let's head back up to the starting gates because the next pair is ready to go. 
And for this round, we will have Wolf's Head racing out of the red lane, taking on Lucas Oil Stabilizer in the green lane. Here we go. Green flag gate drops and we're racing. Wheel to wheel coming out of the gate down the ramp. They're so fast into that first jump. But Lucas Oil Stabilizer has problems off the jump. Goes sideways as Wolf's Head jumps the back obstacle. Almost does a backflip off that back jump. Wow, that was wild. Would have been cool if it stuck that landing. But Lucas Oil Stabilizer slow in that run. Let's take another look. As the green flag flies, Wolf Chuck's fast right out of the gate, but watch Lucas Oil Stabilizer bouncing around in that green lane. Can't control it, goes off to the side. Wolf's head with a super smooth run to take the win. Love that custom painted Lucas Oil Stabilizer truck, but we're gonna have to wait to the next tournament to see more racing action. As in this one, it's Wolf's head taking the win, moving into the semi-final round. What a run by that truck and even a little freestyle. <laughs> now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And for this pair, we have two more awesome trucks with Neon Earthshaker in the red lane, taking on Velociraptor in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag and we're off. Look how fast both these trucks are out of the gate, coming down the ramp. They're wheel to wheel in the air. Big jump on them. They're both into the center of the track. They get together over the back obstacle. Wow. Huge crash from both these trucks, but it is Earthshaker being propelled by the crash across the line for the win. What a wild race. Hope that Velociraptor truck's okay. Let's take another look. As the gate drops, these trucks are wheel to wheel coming down the ramp. In the air, they are door to door. Nice smooth landing, but they head to the center up over the back obstacle. They get together, and Earthshaker flies over the line for the win. What a wild run by these two trucks with a huge crash in the air. We haven't seen that in a while, but it's Earthshaker taking the win, moving into the semifinals. We got to get that truck back over to the pits for the crew to check it out before the semifinal round. While we do that, let's head up to the gates for the next race. And up next, we have the almighty famous Mr. Beast Monster Truck in the red lane, taking on Recreation in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag gate drops, here we go. Wolves are so fast coming down the ramp. Look at how fast they are into that jump. Big air from both trucks. Mr. Beast head to the center, off the center, jump into the green lane. But it's too late because Recreation is already to the finish line to take the win. Wow, that truck is so fast here today. Let's check another look from the track cam at that wreck from Mr. Beast. As the gate drops, watch Mr. Beast in that red lane. Super fast coming down the ramp, but into that first jump goes sideways off the center obstacle. Only truck to actually jump off the center obstacle as Recreation takes the win. That fantasy Mr. Beast custom truck sure is an awesome looking truck, but cool looking doesn't win you races. And Recreation's been the fastest here all day and wins another one there, moving into the semi-final round. What a run from that truck. We'll see it later. Let's head back over to the pits and check out the trucks moving on. Be sure you hit that like button and subscribe to be able to get weekly diecast monster truck racing tournaments just like these as well as daily viewer request videos. Now moving into the semi-final round, that means we have 12 trucks already eliminated from today's race. It's really too bad not all 12 trucks can move into the final round because these are some beautiful trucks just sitting over here in pit lane. But that's right, we'll see them later on. We still have four trucks racing for today's championship. Let's meet them, starting with Dragon and Earthshaker. Then we also have Wolf's Head and Recreation. These are four of the fastest trucks here so far today. Which of these four trucks do you think will be faster in the semifinals to move into the final round, giving them a chance to win that trophy up on that gold podium? Let's head up to the gates now, get the races started and find out. Here we go, first matchup of the semifinals. We have Dragon racing out of the red lane, taking on Neon Earthshaker in the green lane. Let's go racing. Gate drops and they're off. Wow, Earthshaker's so fast coming out of the gate down the ramp, really starting to pull away from Dragon. Dragon doing everything he can to catch up. Earthshaker's so smooth over the back obstacle. Oh, Dragon in a wheelie lands on top of Earthshaker. What? What just happened? Did the throttle stick on Dragon? Let's take another look from the track cam. As the green flies, watch Earthshaker in that green lane. That truck's so fast, might give Recreation a run. Super smooth jump, Dragon heading over to the green lane. Earthshaker takes the win, and boom, big wreck. Well, viewers, with a big pile up like that, we had to get the dirt crew out here to help separate these trucks. We need to get them back over to pit lane so they can get fixed up for the final round. Because in that one, Earthshaker takes the win and will move into the finals. And Dragon will have to race one more time to try to secure that third place. But we've got to get these trucks fixed up first. So while the dirt crew's working on that, let's head back up to the starting gates for the next round of racing. 
And for this semi-final round matchup, we have Wolf's Head racing out of the red lane, taking on Recreation in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go. Once again, it's Recreation so fast out of the gate, coming down that ramp. That truck has so much speed, goes off to the side, has problems, and Wolf's Head's catching up over the line, but it is. Oh, it's so close to tell. I couldn't tell by that angle. We're definitely going to have to take another look from the track cam and see which truck crossed the line first. That was such a close race. Let's take a look from the track cam now. As the green flag drops, watch Recreation in that green lane once again so fast. The wolf sense not having any of it starts to catch up. Up on the back obstacle is Recreation by a tire. Wow. These Star Creations monster trucks sure are putting on a good show here in the semi-final round. And in that one, it's Recreation crossing the line first, making it to the finals. And we'll send, we'll have to race Dragon one more time to try to secure that third place. Let's head back on over to the pits one more time to check out the final round lineups. All right, viewers, here we go. The final round pairings to see who will be on the podium. Racing for third place, we have Dragon taking on Wolf's Head. And for your championship and overall tournament winner, we have Earthshaker Neon taking on Recreation. Which truck will it be? Let's head up to the gates and find out now. Here you go. For the third place race, we have Dragon racing out of the red lane, taking on Wolf's Head in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flies, gate drops, and drops. Oh, Wolf's Head so fast coming down the ramp. Maybe Dragon's still having problems. Big jump from that truck. Oh, it lands on the front end, starts to flip. Dragon catching up, up over the back obstacle, passes Wolf's Head bicycles for the win. Wow, what a come from behind victory and an upset here for third place. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out one more time. This is a wild race. Wolf's Head in that green lane starts pulled away by about two or three truck lanes coming down the ramp. But as a huge jump, nose is over, starts to flip. Dragon puts the power down, passes over the obstacle and takes the win. What a wild run. Well, viewers, Wolf's Head has been fast here all day long and really thought it would be on that third place. But Dragon deserves that one after that come from behind victory all the way to the end of the track. What a run from that truck. We'll see it later up on the podium. But now it's time for the race everybody came here to see. That's right, viewers, this is your final round for the Star Creations Tournament. Racing out of the red lane, we have Neon Earthshaker taking on Recreation in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Once again, Recreation fast coming out of the gate, starting to pull away, coming down the ramp. But Earthshaker has a huge jump. Look at the air from that truck. So smooth up the back obstacles and passes for the win. Wow. Two come from behind victories here in the finals. Oh, and check it out. Recreation ends up in a wheelie on the line. Celebrating a little early there, aren't we? <laughs> Let's take another look. As the gate flies, Recreation's first one out of the gate again, because you got to be first one to the campground to get that good spot. But watch Earthshaker has a huge jump off that red lane. So smooth over the back obstacle, jumps almost all the way to the line to take the win as Recreation ends up in a wheelie. Awesome. What an absolutely incredible matchup by these two trucks here in the final round. And you gotta admit, you gotta love that recreation truck. But in this one, it is Neon Earthshaker making it to the line first with a ton of speed taking the win. What do you say we head on over to the winner's circle and help these trucks celebrate? We sure hope all of our viewers here today have absolutely loved this 16 truck diecast monster truck star creations tournament. I know we have really enjoyed putting this show on for all of our viewers. Check out these trucks. These trucks may have not made the podium here today, but they are incredible toy monster trucks. You can guarantee we'll be seeing more of these trucks later on our channel. But for today's winners up here on the podium, we have the fastest three trucks that we've maybe ever seen at this track. These trucks have done absolutely incredible here today. So much speed and agility. These trucks have been awesome. And in third place, we have the Dragon. In second place up there on that silver podium, we have that awesome looking new recreation. And your overall winner for the Star Creations Diecast Monster Truck Tournament up there with the trophy on the gold podium, we have the hand-painted custom Nitro Neon Earthshaker. Check that truck out. That truck is incredible. If you want to see more of Bob's work, check him out on Instagram at Diggers Diecast. And don't forget to check out Star Creations on all of their social medias for upcoming new projects and awesome monster trucks. I will link both of those in our descriptions after this video. But now, what do you say we help these three trucks celebrate today's wins?
Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.